Hello and welcome to Lori's Kitchen. Today we're going to learn how to make juice, but not the sugar laden juice that you buy at the grocery store in a bottle. This juice is full of healthy stuff, micronutrients, which is what your body craves. Micronutrients are only found in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds. Everything else is a macronutrient. Micronutrients are what our cells crave. Let's face it, we're hungry. We're always hungry. And what our body needs to satisfy that hunger is micronutrients found in those items I listed. Everything else will make your tummy feel full for a short while, but it will not satisfy your cravings or satisfy your cell's desire for micronutrients. That's why juicing is so healthy. It fulfills everything that your body needs so you're satisfied. This is a juicer. This is different not a blender. A blender will take the entire vegetable or fruit and mash it up so you're drinking the whole thing. A juicer pulls only the juice out and saves the pulp in this reservoir right here. You can use the pulp at a later time for cooking or compost piles. When you're juicing, it's best to put in a bag in this little separate container so that cleanup is much easier later. When the pulp is inside, you just remove this bag and throw it out, and it just makes for a nice, clean cleanup. The juice we're going to make today is Mean Green Juice from Joe Green's movie or documentary called Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. This recipe calls for four apples, two cucumbers, one lemon, 16 stalks of kale, eight stalks of celery, and a two inch cut of ginger. Wash the fruits and vegetables very well, and then you're going to need to cut the apple up and peel the lemon. Then you're ready to start. And now we're ready to juice. You remove this part here and you will put your vegetables and fruits into this section here and very gently push it down. Um, make sure you have something to collect your juice in on this side and again a bag in the pulp reservoir here. Generally you'd like to put in the softer foods first so that the harder foods will finish the juicing out and push what's ever left in here through. Let's juice. And you have juice. 